Brian Air is facing possible strike action by cabin crew across several of its European destinations that could mean travel headaches for thousands of Irish holidaymakers. Pay talks between Ryanair and two Spanish unions have broken down and there could be a knock-on effect in France, Italy and elsewhere. It's the time of the year when tens of thousands of Irish holidaymakers jet off for a much-needed break in the sun. However, those plans could be thrown up in the air. Last month, Ryanair struck a deal on pay and working conditions with one of Spain's biggest unions. However, talks failed with two other cabin crew unions now threatening strike action. In a letter to the unions, Ryanair accuses them of unrealistic demands, acting in bad faith and refusing to engage in meaningful negotiations. The airline claims that the unions are seeking pay increases of 167% at a time when the company is still reporting major losses and recovering from the pandemic. The unions say they've joined forces with other unions in Portugal, France, Italy and Belgium with threats of Europe-wide industrial action. Ryanair has described the move as a distraction and says it doesn't expect widespread disruption this summer. The power that a trade union has in the aviation sector in the modern age is on forward bookings, creating uncertainty and reducing the forward bookings for an airline like Ryanair. Ryanair are saying that their uh, ticket sales are looking at reaching back to pre-pandemic levels, 94, 95% uh, in mid-August. Virgin Media News also understands that there's discontent among some staff at airline groups here, which could result in ballots for industrial action in the coming weeks. The potential Ryanair strike action, though, is the latest headache for passengers to deal with. Recent chaos at Dublin Airport, which saw more than 1,400 people miss their flight, with thousands of people still waiting for a passport. Today, the HSE confirmed that contact tracing staff based in Limerick will be deployed to the passport office to help. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.